to Antionic and my name's Tom. Welcome to today's build guide video and this is for the hay barn as listed on eBay and the website. Uh, as you've seen in the intro pictures you'll see what it looks like and this is how you receive the model as white card. So to begin with I'm going to cut away all the tabs and remove all the, each piece from the cardstock. Okay, so I've got all the pieces cut out of the cardstock now. So to show you the next steps, I'll bring the camera closer so you can have a good view of what the next process or the next step is you need to do. And we'll take it from there. Okay, to begin with, we're going to bring our two matching sides here. You'll notice that one has a small notch cut out of the top. We don't want to use that part just yet. Make sure you don't use it. So find the other part that has in the center a complete top. We're going to lay this on the table like so. I'm going to take one of our side pieces which has the lean to attach to it and all the iron work on top and it's got a notch at the bottom and this has a little recess cut out. We're going to simply align them two up together, hold the model at 90 degrees and just apply a bit of glue. Now for the video's sake I'm using super glue and if you've watched any of my other videos it's a preferred method of mine for these models more so for the video so it dries quickly. If you're not comfortable or you want some more time by all means use PVA glue or something similar that will work just as well but you get that bit more time. With super glue you get one go and that's it. So it's however confident you are with your model making skills. Okay, so again I've got another side, another notch. And this one has a cut out in the middle. I'm going to simply place that in the gap. And I'll apply some glue again. This turns to both sides. I'll try and hold these at 90 degrees or as best as possible while that glue sets. And then I'm going to take the last remaining piece on the last remaining end, find that notch, and then I just apply some glue again. Okay, so they're all glued. Now and I'm going to bring back the piece with the notch at the top. And this is going to line up on the opposite sides, again with the same notches we've got on this side, but now on this side. But that top notch is going to slide up into those roofed, roof uh, beams coming down, like so. So just slide that up, and then twist it round, and that notch will slide through the gap like so. And then... I will glue this middle one in first. So just squeezing it tight against the side. I'm going to apply some glue. Okay, so that's all nice and flush. And then I'm going to work on this notch here. So I'm going to bring them together. Squeeze them together with my fingers. I'm going to start at the top, Just work my way down to the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to start on the other side. Same process, bring them together. Some glue at the top. Okay, so we've got the basic structure of the model complete. Now is a good point or a good part uh, time in the model building to age and weather 
your basic frame so you can easily get to these beams without getting any overspray onto your roof sections or whatnot. So now's a good time to think about how you want to weather your frame, paint it, etc. A good paint to use is acrylic paint. Get them in any any types of air uh, from any local model shops, different prices and whatnot. They all work just as well. Just ensure not to saturate it. It is a card model, so if you're going to airbrush it, just like coats. If you're going to paint it, use like a dry brush effect. Try and get as much paint as paint off that brush as possible. Then just constantly build it up and build it up. So you're not going to saturate the card. Okay, so the next part we're going to use or bring into the model is going to be our roof sections. Now to make this easier to build, I'm going to run a strip of masking tape on the back side. So this side's got the etching on. I'm going to flip that over. I'm just going to run some masking tape down that inside edge. Same again, it's got the uh, etching on that side. I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to put them to together. Make sure they're nice and even uh, level on both sides. Like so. So now that will naturally hold the apex for us. So it's a case of simply resting this on top of your model. So make sure it all lines up all around the edges. It will rest just on top of the frames. And where they meet you can start to apply a little bit of glue it will just soak through the card and make that one complete join okay and then I'm only doing one half for now so I'm just going to flip it round and do the other side to the model So just where those two pieces of card meet, so it's nice and flush, that's where I'm applying the glue. So you can see there it's nice and flush and I just dab the glue on the edge and it soaks into the card and will stick it. Okay and then for the side frame, it's still a bit loose so I'm just going to run some glue on that edges and then press the, the roof down onto that frame and it will go in for us like so okay so we've still got this half the model which is still flapping about so we need to do the same process for that side so I'll try and get some camera for you so I'm just lining up the, the front so it's nice and flush when I'm happy, I'm applying a bit of pressure with my finger to keep it in place. And then I'm just applying some glue to the front edge. And that's enough to glue it into place. For now. Okay, so I'm going to flip it around, do the same process. I'm going to bring that frame so it's nice and flush. So that's a good finish there. To apply a few dabs of glue into that card. Okay, so that's at the point now for me where I'm okay. But for you, flip it over and apply some glue down these edges just to fully secure it into place. I may as well do it just to show you what I'm doing. So I'm flipping it over where this, these card apexes meet. I'm just applying some glue, like so. <clears throat> now the next part we're going to need is the tiled roof effect that we've got here with this card. So just make sure it's nice and flat. And for this one, same process, only going to rest it on top of those beams coming down like so. I'm going to create a nice tight joint here. So I'm happy with that. 
hold that in place and just in this top corner because these are, are, are nice and free so I don't concentrate on doing the full length in one go just start right up in this corner get it nice and flush, nice and level and that's where I'm going to apply my first bit of glue like so and then I'm going to bring this out to meet the edge so that whole side now nice and flush and like before I'm just going to apply a few dabs of glue right down that edge see we're not really trying to glue it as such just tack it for now then we flip it over and that's when we really get the model glued together but for now we're just tacking it in, into place into where we want it so again I've got a gap at the top here I'm just going to push them to so it's a nice tight finish get this edge nice and flush and just concentrate in this top corner for now so I've got some glue there I'm then going to make the rest of the model nice and flush here and it might spring out again like it is with me here so I'm just applying a tiny amount of pressure to the roof that way when I push it in and get it to where I want it it's now held into place just by me pushing down on top of the roof okay so I'm just going to apply a bit of glue in the center here where these two join okay I'm happy with that so this middle one's still free so we need to attach that into place so just grabbing it in the center just make sure it's nice and straight at the front and I'm just going to run a bit of glue either side of it and that'll secure that into place like so so I'll just go down all these edges now with some PVA glue or whatever glue you're using and really secure these edges to ensure that the models structurally sound and that's it for the build really so the only other part we need to do is our detailing work the finishing edges so I'm going to start with the roof cover but this will cover the gap in the top so that's going to be glued on top like so so the way I do this I'm going to take the strip obviously this would be painted up for yourselves first I'm going to take the side that's not painted in your case And I'm just going to hold it at one end and just pull the other end when it starts to grab and that will ensure it's nice and straight. So I've only glued halfway, so this, this side is still unglued. So I'm just going to apply some glue to the roof edge now. And then grab it at the end and pull again while you press down and that ensures that's a nice straight finishing edge which covers that gap in the roof and gives it a nice detail on top of the building okay so the remaining parts are the cladding parts and the front fence for the barn side to the lean-to so where this model meets here where these faces meet this is where we're going to apply our clad cladding so it'll just fit just below where those cuts outs are like so so you're only gluing the edges so I'll apply some glue now so I've glued that cladding into place now so it's just below the squares what I cut out of the, uh, the frame here and you're just matching that so it's nice and straight at this edge it meets up here and just run some glue on those legs coming down at the back and that's enough to glue it in place so 
I'll try and do this side on camera for you. Like so. So I'm going to apply some glue to the model. A little bit cack under it, but just get it nice and flush. Nice and level, and then just hold it in place while the glue sets. Like so. Okay, so the last remaining piece to place onto the model is again on this lean to, and it's just a small fence which is going to cover this half of the model. So just apply some glue to. One of those legs. Like so. And to ensure that this piece is nice and flush. It's not going past the leg. And then I'm gonna repeat the process on this end of the model. Get them legs nice and flush. Like so. And the last one to do is just that middle one. So just apply a bit of glue. Push that fence back so it's nice and flush. Just give that a squeeze so it sets. And there we are. There we are guys, there's the Encina K Bond complete. These look fantastic once they've been sp sprayed up with an airbrush or dry brushed. And the reason I say dry brush is because the etched detail work that we've got on the model, if the paint is applied thin enough, you still see all that detail work come through your paint. Just don't just whack it on there, dry brush it and just build it up layer by layer if you're going to paint it by hand. Uh, you still get fantastic results, you don't need an airbrush to do, to do so. It just takes a bit more time, that's all. Uh, we've got another barn to go with this, it's the cow shed and together or as part of a series of cattle sheds and whatnot, uh, it looks fantastic on a rural layout, it really does. Uh, for this model we're going to give you, you know, the first 10 customers for this purchase for this model, 10% off and that is for everything in your basket not just for this model. So if you go to the website, place as many items as you want into your basket and during checkout it'll ask you for a code, if you use the code word YouTube number one, that's YouTube number one, uh, that'll give you a 10% discount at checkout. Uh, we ship worldwide and by all means check out what else we've got. The website is www.end-scenic.co.uk. Thanks for coming along for the build guide and we will see you again soon. Bye bye.